Hey there everybody, Omega is here for more of the dark and the cloud and the stuff. Um, I just uh, kind of remembered something, so we're just going to save right here, and then we're just going to go right back into the forest uh, to do some more stuff. Not going to do any of the Jirama after all. So, we're just going to get right back down to it, because we are actually almost at the halfway point, so... It's actually right after this, so we're going to go into Territory 8, and we're going to do our thing, and you guys get to see stuff will happen, maybe. Maybe. You have to wait and see. Okay, so uh, one last normal little territory for this session. That is the that is the backflip thing that I was warning you about. Uh, hitbox becomes very, very awkward, uh, slightly before and slightly after and uh, during that animation so be careful for when the hornets do that they can also poison you as you as you obviously saw so watch out for that besides that very very easy enemy so let's just go already we have the red berry awesomeness you know to me the red berry looks like something that you see in like like some kind of like breakfast cereal like captain crunch or something i don't know it's just like when i look at it that's just what it reminds me of like breakfast cereal fruit. I don't know, man, I'm just weird. Uh, let me heal my sword right quick so I don't have to put you guys through that horrid, horrid beeping noise. You know, in, in games with uh, audio alerts that alert you when something is happening, uh, most notably your life, they should really, really like only play that sound like a couple of times as opposed to it just going over and over. Like, big example of this would be like, like Kingdom Hearts, you know, or, or the Weapon HP in this game. It's like, you don't want to sit there and, and listen to that beep, 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 beep for two minutes until you decide to repair it. It's just annoying. It's like, yes, I, I'm grateful that, that the game wishes to alert you that something bad is about to happen. But like, it doesn't have to sit there and keep playing. I don't know. It's, it's just, it bothers me. It's like a pet peeve kind of thingy, you know? I can deal with it, but it annoys me. Anyways, now that my mini rant is off my chest, I'm just gonna uh, keep on going here, and we're finding a lot of river like I said we would. Ooh. Aw. Oh, darn. Yeah, they, they can teleport. I thought I might have actually been able to kill two enemies at the same time. That'd be pretty balling right now. Now that I haven't done it before, but it's pretty cool to do. I don't know, you just kind of like feel important. Well, we're just going to ignore that other one over there. We already have two of the dungeon keys. So, you know, we don't really need her. No biggie. I'm also in a bit of a hurry to uh, finish this floor up. Because stuff is about to happen again. And I know you guys have been waiting for stuff to happen. Cause like nothing has happened since we got here, or since we started, you know, you know what I mean. And here we have more river, just like I said, dude. Like, how much freaking river do we have? Okay, so we're done. I cut out the part of me going back because you really didn't need me to see it. It was all the Atla, you know. Okay, so we're just going to go right back into the forest. And, uh, oh, here's another floor with no atla in it. And it's not a limited zone. Know what that means? It means stuff is going to happen. Such as this duel. And when you lose it, nothing happens, unfortunately. So, here is the real version. Oh, uh, well, I could totally mess up. Okay, here is the real version, maybe. Awesome, yes, I got it perfect. I get a jewel. Awesomeness. Ooh, diamond. Diamonds are pretty cool. They, uh, they give you five on all of your antis. But anyways, there's this door over here. We can't seem to get by it. Just switch for it. Maybe smashing will activate it. 
Uh, well, I don't suppose I can just, like, stand on top of it with Princess Ruto on top of my head to open the door, can I? Uh, well, we can't go back the way we came, so all there is is this big opening over here. And smells like a snake. Well, I certainly don't want to have anything to do with a snake, so, well, I guess there's not much else that we can do here. For, for, the, for our listeners who are unaware, I am terrified of snakes. That is the only phobia that I have out of, out of all the common phobias. Not afraid of heights, not afraid of the dark, not afraid of spiders, nothing like that. I'm terrified of snakes. It's it's just the way that I am. But anyways, uh, we're going to do some of the Giorama now since it doesn't really look like we can uh, do much else. We're going to finish Cacao's, Cacao, Cow Cow, whatever, his house. And, uh... Let's see what uh, what he might have to say for us. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> you will see why in a moment. No boxes. Let's just get this over with. Okay. What do you have for us, Mr. Weird Name Person? Ah, it's you. House is back now, and finally I can sing again. Thanks to you. Will you listen to something of mine? Uh, why not? Okay, here I go. The song's titled Legendary Hunter. Fudo, mighty Fudo, will find his prey. This legendary hunter we all admire. No fierce bear's claw, no white tiger's fang. Whatever douse his rage and fire. Never misses his mark, even in the deepest dark. Brave legend of the hunt will never tire. Yes, it's not Trent singing, but you can all put up with it. Anyways. Uh, yes, I suppose it's kind of cool. Thank you. This song says Fudo's charisma, or shall I say, his power or prominence. I think it's expressed well in the song. Only Fudo fans like myself could write it. Well, you know, we did uh, hear a little bit about this Fudo person from the mayor. It's been five years now since Fudo left. He was awesome. Really amazing. He was the hero of our village. No one could beat Fudo. He was invincible. Back then, the villagers were attacked by a fearful monster called the White Tiger. Many hunters lost their lives fighting the White Tiger. But Fudo, he killed that very White Tiger in one blow. His power was tremendous. After that, Fudo became a hero. The entire village respected Fudo and worshipped him as guardian god. Well, that's a little bit much, don't you think, there, buddy? Fudo was my idol. I guess that would be why. I knew I couldn't be like Fudo. I've always been skinny and weak. It's okay, rise up for skinny people. But Fudo made even a person like me believe I could be strong. Like magic, I felt like I could do anything. But then, five years ago, Fudo disappeared. There are rumors that he was killed by a monster called the Killer Snake. They said, though injured, he still fought the Killer Snake and died bravely. But I don't believe that. Fudo's too strong. I'm sure he's still alive somewhere. No half-wit Killer Snake could stand a chance against our hero. I'm right, right? Ah, uh, sure, why not there, buddy? Right, exactly. So I bet my performance made you want to try a musical instrument, too. Sorry, this is my treasure. I can't give you this. Just a minute. Well, this is obviously a worthwhile reward. Hooray, music. A flute I made myself. It has a good sound to it. And we get the odd tune flute. Kinda looks like an ocarina. Like a makeshift ocarina. But it sounds like a mouse. Don't play in strange places if you attract snakes. Hmm. Wonder what kind of hint that could be. Well, personally, you know, I certainly don't want to play that flute at all, because I certainly don't want to attract any killer snakes. I mean, you know, just the name is like, dude, don't do that. But anyways. Let's see what else that we can do before... I bore you all with my phobias. 
can finish this well for one thing. That's pretty cool. I guess it serves no purpose, but it's pretty cool. We can place that water mill, maybe. Uh, let's finish up the shop. Uh, this is actually quite nice because I don't have to keep going back to Norune off screen to get all my items like I've been having to do. So this would be pretty cool. So let's, let's go in. There are new boxes. Hmm. Who, 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 why is our shop is open after remodeling? Who? I certainly appreciate all you've done, sir. Who? Alright, who? Just for you, sir. A special discount. Who? Look at this. Who? I have no idea what that was. Don't ask me. Why is our sword? Awesomeness. We get a freaking weapon? Just, just a minute, who? Wait, what do you mean, just a minute? Don't misunderstand, who? I didn't say it was free. Oh, dude, come on. Still have to charge you, who, but I'll give you a discount price, who? But I mean, I'm saving the world. Come on, you can't give me this free freaking sword. Let me see, who? How about 5,000 gilda, who? Um, that's like double the money I have right now. Still too high, who? Hmm, okay. How about 2,500 gilda? A special price, who? A real discount price. It's below cost, who? Can't tell it for one gilda less than this, who? It's not the only item here either. Buy all you need, who? Still don't know what that is, but anyways, yes, this is a special shop, and you can buy this sword. I, I'm not sure if you can find it. I think you might actually have to buy it if you want, the Wise Owl sword. Um, and it's a pretty cool bro, uh, especially if you haven't been doing your weapon grinding. Uh, it can uh, level the playing field for you uh, quite a bit, so if you have the money for it, you know, you can get it. I unfortunately do not. Oh, there's a chest over there. Crap. I already went outside. Have to go back for it. Um, so, uh, if you can afford it and you've been maybe laxing up on your grinding, uh, you can just buy a wise, a wise owl sword and you'll probably be okay for, for at least a little while, but still no match for good old grinding. So, uh, anyways, we're just going to go. Uh, besides that, uh, it's, it's an open shop. It's pretty cool. So you can use it for that. So now that that's out of the way, um, I guess we should get around to placing these rivers. So, um, as I think I might have said in the last video, uh, he wants his, uh, his shop to be surrounded by water. So you have to, like, put, like, a little moat around his shop. Kind of like, so, darn it, I'm gonna have to move it, aren't I? Um... <sighs> okay. Uh, y you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll do it off screen and show you. Let's just go. Because I'm not entirely, you know, I don't want to sit here and fumble with it. And we're kind of going up on time. So he just places all these rivers, kind of like connect the dots with the trench. With the trenches. You do not have to connect with the pond. So just like so. And then, yeah, this will leave me uh, 15 to, to put around the moat. So I'll show that to you guys later. I'm going to cut it here, so, bye everybody. Or not. Darn. Um. Well, yeah, I'll just cut it here. Bye.